Hello, my name is Richard Day. I'm a senior lecturer here at Cardiff University. I'm also part of the admissions team that works on the MSc in Physiotherapy. Today, really lucky to have Holly here with us. Uh, Holly, would you mind introducing yourself and um, telling us a little bit about what your role is within the MSc of Physiotherapy, please? Yeah, uh, my name is Holly Spencer. I am the programme manager for the MSc Physiotherapy here in Cardiff. So my role um, is managing the course and supporting the students through their studies here. Okay. So the MSc in Physiotherapy is a popular programme for international students. What is it about it that you think is a big draw for international students? Well, as a university as a whole, it has a really good reputation. So both within the healthcare clinical setting here in Wales, but also with other collaborations, both locally and internationally. So a lot of our students come to the university because of word of mouth. So students that have been here before that have really enjoyed their studies. Um, we're also a Russell Group University, which means we've got a really strong research thread. Um, a lot of our education and curriculum is based around research and the students have an opportunity to do a research dissertation. Why do you think that's important? Why, what, what is it about a research-based dissertation that has, has that real value? I think a research dissertation has, it gives students the opportunity to really impact clinical practice. Mm. Um, it also means that they're going to be learning things and developing research skills that are going to be useful for their lifelong careers as physiotherapists. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally understand that and agree. I think engaging in that real-world research kind of feeling makes it closer to, to then perhaps clinical practice and everything, and those things then do combine. Absolutely. Okay, thanks. The full-time programme consists classically over a two-year window, with that first year sort of being taught and second year then moving into that dissertation phase. Can you give us a bit more information about the structure of that of that full-time programme please? Yeah absolutely so full-time students have 18 months to complete their studies with us so when they start in the September in semester one they'll have two core modules one being research studies and one being evidencing um, skills in specialist clinical practice. Come the second semester, students actually have some options mm. so that we can tailor the course really to what they want and where their, their interests or specialisms lie. So students have options between MSK, Neuro, Cardiorespiratory and Kinesiology. Following that, as you say, is their dissertation year. Mm. So students have options in terms of dissertation, either an empirical research or they may do a systematic review of the literature. So again, there's lots of options for students to tailor them really to where their interests and where their strengths lie. And those core... Um, sort of taught modules in the first phase, research sort of speaks for itself because it's developing those sort of research, research skills and understanding that would be required for that dissertation. But what about the other sort of modules that aid the other compulsory element, but also then those ones that they can then pick? You know, what is the classic structure sort of within them, if you could describe that for me, please? So in terms of contact time, um, we are a full-time course. So it's um, anticipated that students will be studying for the majority of their, their time here. Um, sessions take place, they may be in lectures, like a lecture theatre like this. Mm -hmm. They could be in small group teaching, um, they could be online, face to face. Um, there may also be some um, self-directed or um, kind of pre-set up online sessions that they would attend. What is it that you think a master's student gains the most from doing say an MSc in physiotherapy here at Cardiff University what is the one golden thing that they obtain from that experience? I think our aim with students coming here is that they leave the program not only better physiotherapists but actually able to continue to develop throughout their career so we all know physiotherapy isn't just a course you do and then that's it actually you need to be learning throughout your throughout mm. your career yeah. Um, what's important to stress is that here our course is completely theoretical. So there's no no um, placements and no practical sessions as such. Some of the modules do have um, elements where there's laboratory work, um, but no nothing in terms of practical skills. There's a reason for this. Um, so the reason we do this is because everyone comes here with a a level of practical skill that that we know. Yeah. That competent we're and happy with they've done it yeah they've done foundation, underpinning foundation yeah. absolutely yeah. in their undergraduate degree what we're here for is to actually mm. get them to develop on a different level 
So we're thinking learning skills around critical reading, critical writing, critical appraisal of research potentially, um, and developing a critical view of their own practice um, so that they can then go out and develop their skills you know, in the future. Practical skills will come with clinical practice anyway, so we're not concerned about that. What we really want is people to be developing the ability to um, to know why they're doing certain things and to be able to challenge themselves in clinical practice about why they're doing things. Okay, and that that's the golden moment. You think that's yeah, the thing is so. that they 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 become perhaps more self-critical, able to to look at their own practice and then develop that practice. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what makes you a good physiotherapist. I think in our yeah. eyes. Okay, well, that's really clear. From my experience, I know that sometimes international students have concerns or worries about um, you know, what the challenges might face, be that either language or um, you know, understanding maybe the way that teaching is delivered here at Cardiff University. What do you perceive about those challenges or what do you think the biggest challenge is for international students coming here? But then also, this is a big question, sorry, what support systems are there or how are things structured to help supplement that? Yeah, so we have a, a lot of experience with international students here so the majority of our cohort consists of international students and we know from those the feedback from those students that actually teaching is often very different in the UK particularly at master's level mm. than they may be used to in their home country or undergraduate level. Um, our teaching is much more student-led so there's an anticipation that students will will in, be more investigative and more critical mm. themselves than maybe they would be used to. Um, we do an awful lot of work on this in our programmes, particularly mm. in semester one. Our modules are really well set up to help support students with learning these skills. And we also have um, a lot of, um, we have academic support in terms of personal tutors. So we do some academic um, support work when people come in their first semester to support them around things like assignment skills, um, literacy around assignment terms, just to make sure that we can optimise people's opportunities as much as we can. Um, moving to a different country is inevitably going to be very difficult and very challenging. People are moving away from their families and we're really mindful of that here. We try and build a community within our course, within our cohort. We put people together into groups with a personal tutor to enable them to get to know each other, mm. spend time with each other and yeah. form closer groups and we try and promote um, kind of mixing and, and people can make meeting peers and getting to know each other so that we know people have that support that they need. Okay. Um, in terms of that, that challenge, do you think that challenge is something that is, this is like a loaded question, but successfully overcome by you know, what the university supports alongside? The program. I mean, I think it does. I yeah, mean, but I, think I genuinely so. think it does. Support. And I think, yeah, I agree. And I think it does. And I think the evidence comes from the student experience. Mm. Students tell us they have a really good time here, mm. and that they valued their time here. Um, and I think if if we weren't able to provide that support or the support wasn't effective, we wouldn't have that, and we wouldn't get that word of mouth that Cardiff's actually a really good um, place to be. Good experience. Okay. Enough about the university. Cardiff is a a city that I've been around for a long time. What is it that makes sort of the location and the geography of Cardiff special? Um, why is it a good place to study? But also then why is it a good place to experience student life? Yeah, it's a good place to be. So talking just from the university, the university is set in Cardiff centre, which isn't always the case in, in some other universities. So students are fully immersed in Cardiff as soon as they get here. Um, as a city, I mean, I, I myself, I'm not from Cardiff, but I've been here 15 years. I'm proud to call it my home. I love it here. Um, Cardiff has so much going for it. It's a very blossoming city. You have all the excitement of a city. You have the restaurants and the social side of things. But then you also have the countryside. You know, you can get out of the city really quickly. Some incredible countryside. Um, the sea is also you know, yep. a stone's throw away if you, you know, world if you're class seaside, beaches. world class beaches. Um, and yet, we're also not very far from London or Bristol. You know, mm. um, transport links here are fantastic. You know, we have an airport, 
we have amazing motorway links that you can get anywhere really in the country and explore and make the most of your time as being a student here. Yeah, I, th I, th I agree. I think it's a very sort of populous and busy city, but then also not too big, but also gives you connections to other places. But, um, Absolutely. Okay. Last one. Last question from me. What is the one piece of advice you would give to a student as thinking of coming to study here on the MSc Physiotherapy Programme? I would say come here with an open mind. So come here, open mind, be prepared that maybe you'll be studying a bit differently, but have trust in the process that actually we are here to help you succeed. And that's what you know, we, we all want you to succeed and come out as better physiotherapists at the end of your course. Um, so trust in the process, embrace being in a different environment, doing something different and you know the outcome will be fantastic. Holly, thank you so much for your time. Thank I know you're really busy, uh, but that's been really insightful. Thanks thank very you. much. Thanks.